Hey, Britt Volnick here of In Arms Coaching. It is Thursday, January 9th, and what I'm spending the day doing is preparing for this big, bigger than I've ever done before, virtual visionary retreat day tomorrow, in which close to 200 of you are signed up for already, and I wanna talk to a couple of you out there who maybe haven't signed up yet or don't know what I'm talking about because I think it's really important to talk to you about the why of why I'm doing this visionary retreat um, and why it's been in my heart for so long now. And, you know, in thinking about putting this together, it's important to realize that the women who we see succeeding in this culture, right, and success is something that is um, a very personal word, right? It means different things to different people. But when we see women in the public eye succeeding, I'm thinking of Oprah Winfrey, I'm thinking of women walking up to receive the Academy Award or the Nobel Peace Prize, right? We see the moment of glory. We see women at one of the highest pinnacles of their success. And what we don't see is those women. We don't see Oprah Winfrey at night, right? We don't see her in the middle of the night in her bed crying. We don't see Ellen DeGeneres doubting herself and biting her nails and in a therapy session, right? We don't see the major rock stars of the day sobbing about being called fat by some media monster. And what we do see and and what our culture tends to really publicize is the they came from nothing and now they have this amazing thing. And in building in arms coaching, it was very hard for me to kind of quell the voices in my head that said, you know, you're not good enough with your money to ever be financially stable. You're not a good enough coach to ever have a full client roster. You're not a leader enough to really lead group programs and guide women to building what they love. And what's amazing about each of the eight women that I'm interviewing for this day tomorrow is that each of these eight women felt doubt and hit challenges and sabotaged themselves and ran into fears and blocks and old beliefs that kind of kept them stuck. And each of them developed tools and wisdom and strategies to move from fear through it to success, to their personal definition of success. And I think it's really important to hear about the middle of the night, tissues are wet and soaked, pillow is wet and soaked, and I'm nauseous about starting my day tomorrow. Those moments, it's important to hear about them because we all have them. And what's important is how you move through them. Each of the eight women tomorrow are going to give you three personal tools or steps for you to write down and walk away from the day with. And at the beginning of the day, I'm going to lead you live on the phone through an exercise to get crystal clear about what you want for yourself this year. And at the end of the day, I'm going to close with you again on the line live by helping you create the steps, the next steps to move forward with your goal. And then there's going to be a period where I open the line up and you can even ask me questions about what you've heard or about your next steps or about anything that you want from the day. So I hope that you join us. You can register for free by going to www.inarmscoaching.com and it's right there at the top of the page. And you don't have to be on the phone for the whole day. You can pick and choose from the interviews that you want to hear. I hope you join us at 8 a.m. Eastern live because I'll be on the phone helping you set the day up. And then I hope you join me at 6 p.m. again live to seal the whole thing up and close it so you can take your precious goal and move through the year with it. So that's it. I hope I hear you tomorrow. And please share this information with the women that you love. Take care. Bye.